All our Dry Crate Smart Shield battery backup units come with a free app that you can download. This is so you can monitor your pumps to make sure everything is working properly. Uh, the first thing you want to do is connect your Wi-Fi battery backup system to the Wi-Fi in your house. To do that, you'll have to hit this Wi-Fi reset button on the top of the unit. Right on your left side of the screen, there's a little button in here. You want to hold that down for five seconds. Your Wi-Fi light will turn that amber color. Once it turns that amber color, it's going to start sending out the signal, the Wi-Fi signal, so you connect to the unit itself. Once you do that, you're going to download the app and fill out all your information, name, phone number, state, zip code. Make sure you fill out all that info because if you miss a step, it won't let you connect to the Wi-Fi in your house. After you do that, you're gonna hit this plus sign. It's at the bottom right. It's a yellow plus sign. You hit this. When you get this screen that comes up, it's gonna ask you what color is your Wi-Fi light. Now that we did the Wi-Fi reset, the color should be amber. So you wanna hit amber. Now it's gonna ask you, do you wanna join the PumpSpy Wi-Fi network? You say yes, you wanna join. Once you hit that button, the next step is it's gonna bring up all the Wi-Fi's in your area. You want to click on your Wi-Fi and put in your Wi-Fi password. If you enter your Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi light goes from amber to green, then it goes directly to red, that might be a case where you've misspelled your password. You'll have to reset the Wi-Fi computer on the side of the unit. Go back, double check you have the right password, type that in again, and, and the light should go green. If you get this alert, once it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and you look at the computer and the Wi-Fi light is green, it's telling you it's connected to the Wi-Fi in your house. It's just not connected to the app itself. So at this point, you're going to say the light is green. You can try again or you can cancel. We can cancel this. Now the light on the unit is green. It's not amber. So if we hit that green button, it's going to ask you to enter the device ID. So on, this, on the side of the unit, this is the device ID. So if the Wi-Fi light is green and it's giving you that alert, to connect it manually to the app, you're gonna, they're gonna ask you for this number on the device. Once you go into your app and you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you can check on any alerts that you've gotten. Alert history, how many gallons you're pumping, how many gallons you pumped today, this week, month, year. It'll track all that data for you for free. So once you get to this step, you want to hit your Smart Shield outlet. As long as all these lights are green, that means you're good to go. It says your connection, your power, your main pump, your water level, your backup, your battery. Everything is green, that means everything is good to go. If you want to go into the pump and see how many gallons you're pumping, you click on main pump. This will tell you last cycle time and the last cycle length. This down here will show you cycles today. Down at the bottom, this will show you your cycle history. How many gallons you pump today, week, month, year. If you ever got any alerts, you do not need to be in the app to get your alerts. So if the main float switch came up and the main pump did not turn on and it activated the backup float switch, you get an alert notification, a push notification to your phone that said the main pump has failed, the backup has turned on. So you don't need to be in the app to get all the alerts.